what if Magni softball would have beaten Washington Huskies and the Cajuns would have hosted a super regional game against Magnese? Let me introduce everybody to Jalen. How are you doing today, Jalen? Hey, I'm doing well, Chief. Doing well. This is a great question to get started with. So we all know what happened here in real life, right? Washington scored seven runs in the seventh inning, which they were they were losing six nothing. You know, going into the ending here, they got a one run lead on Magnese, and Magnese just couldn't close it out here. Let's just do a hypothetical scenario that Magnese somehow finds a way to win this game here, and we have a super regional here in Lafayette, Louisiana here. So, Jalen, uh, what you thought would have happened in that series there between Louisiana and Magnese? Does Louisiana return to the Women's College World Series and win the whole entire thing and beat Oklahoma. That would have been amazing to see, and and it was crazy. Uh, I was at the Baton Rouge Regional when um the Cajuns beat LSU, and it was so exciting. They had a lot of Cajuns fans that made the trip down to Baton Rouge and watched their team win and make it to the Super Regionals. And I'm just like, okay, they make the Super Regionals, and we all watching McNeese playing uh, against Washington, and it's like, all right, they got this big lead. McNeese wins this game. The Raging Cajun women host a Super Regional. Now, if that would have happened, I think the Cajun would have beat McNeese, and they would have made it to the Women's College World Series. Now, according to projections, they would have been right up there in the same bracket as national champion Oklahoma, who's won it so many times. Now, the I do think the Cajuns would have eventually fell in the Women's College World Series, but the fact that they would have hosted a Super Regional in Lafayette, Louisiana, that would have been huge against an in-state rival like McNeese. That would have that, – that, that, like that – everybody through Lake Charles, Lafayette would have been attending that game – or games, I should say. And that would have been – that would have been awesome to see and seeing how far either team could go, especially the Cajuns. So I think that would have been awesome. But what if – you know? Yeah. Well, so I I think it'd have been a great environment here in Lafayette for sure. Uh, you would have had like a really traditional rivalry in softball, just as well as it is in football, basketball. Magnese loves to hate UL. And it's a, that's something that, you know, you get like excited about a little bit here. That's something that like, look, Great rivalry here, and these like the ball, the balls, the the ball stick sports basically here, um, the stick and ball sports basically. So, uh, with them, I think the Cajuns would have beat Magnese. I think they would have gotten there, and I think they would have done enough to win. I think Magnese would have gave it everything they had in Washington here, and they wouldn't have had enough juice to recover, and you know come back from that there. So, with the the Cajuns would have went against. Let's see, they would have been in bracket. I. Think, Bracket one, yeah. So how that would have ended up here. So the way the bracket one would have went here, you would have had, let's see. I'm trying to, they had Washington right here at seven here. I'm trying to see where they put everybody at here. So they would have played against Utah in this hypothetical scenario here on seven and a 15. And then they were in bracket two. They wouldn't have been in the same bracket as Oklahoma. So it's kind of debate, you know, debate how deep do you go. I think the Cajuns would have beat Utah. I think they had a good chance to do that there. It would have been a very close game. I think they beat Utah. Then they would have played Florida State in the hypothetical situation there. I think they would have lost to Florida State, uh, you know, given what we saw in real life there. Then they would go down to elimination bracket where, you know, in this in that hypothetical situation, Stanford is the one that watching them and falling to. Would it have ended up the same? It would have been fun just for them to get back over there. I do think they would have got a win in this uh, Women's College World Series. And I think they might have gotten by Stanford, I think. But Washington ended up falling in that one. So it's kind of tough to say where the Cajuns would have ended up in this World Series bracket. But I think they would, like, I think they would have beaten Utah to get to this point here. Now, you know, you have Sam Landry. She's coming back for another year. Kendria Lamb was there last year, and they had a good pitching rotation last year. Now, if you've been following the news here, a lot of sophomores part of this cl that class was the number one recruiting class in the country. So now they're becoming juniors this year. So that that college world series thing would have been huge 
just experience wise for this team coming up in the 2024 season. And that's something we might, you know, be able to use like we've been here before, but you know, when you're not there, you don't have the experience, you get the butterflies in your tummy, is the moment too big for you? That kind of thing is something that would be interesting to see how the Cajun would react to that new environment because it's been a while. It's been actually, I think actually the season makes 10 years since the Cajun's been to the Women's College World Series. So, you know, it's been where the Cajuns are due for one, for sure. They've been close several times, even last year, just, you know, two games away basically from getting there. They could have just beat Washington twice. But we'll see what happens this year. I'm, I'm pulling for the Cajuns. I think they can get the job done, but I do think in this hypothetical situation – I think they would have lost the same way. I think they would have done the same thing Washington would have done. I think it was a very good matchup here. They might even have lost in the first game against Washington, against not Washington, Utah. And they would have played Oklahoma State and they probably ended up losing that one as well. So I think they might have just been, you know, basically a, not even getting really out of the first round, kind of not deep runs. But best case scenario, I don't think they would have beaten Oklahoma if they would have got to the end there. I don't think they would have even got by Stanford, but – um, I think they could have best case would have had them beat Utah and then, you know, lose to Florida State and then take on Stanford and probably lose to Stanford. So one and two probably would have been the best case scenario for last year that I think would have ended up for the Cajuns. So but that is just one scenario out of millions of scenarios that could have possibly happened here. But it's always fun to wonder what if. <laughs>